Hi, I'm Sharon Thomas, founder and speaker of Established Footsteps Ministry. You know, every day we take many steps as we walk through this life. These steps take us in so many different directions. Relationships, jobs and activities, celebrations, and even trials. We've got so much going on in our lives. We're always on the move. But the real issue is, what's going on in our hearts? What motivates our steps? Psalm 119, 133 says, Establish my footsteps in your word so that sin won't have power over me. That's like saying, God, help me get my feet so planted in your word that everything I'm doing is what you created me for. The ministry of Established Footsteps was born for that very reason, to help people get their life planted in the word of God. God has literally transformed my life by the power of his word, and he certainly has redirected my steps. It's become my life's work to share about that, and I love it. I love seeing people get their life grounded in His Word and fall in love with His Word and literally be transformed. I'd like to share with you a brief clip from a conference that I spoke at last fall where we were exploring the value of God's Word. I hope as you view it, you'll sense the heart of our ministry. And so we get everything we need for life and godliness through the Word of God. And we get that divine nature. The divine nature of God is talked about right there. And you know, one of the greatest things about the nature of God is that He is all-powerful. The Bible says there's nothing that He can't do. Well, I partake, I get that divine nature when I immerse myself into His precious promises and a true knowledge of who He is. The very life of God is within us when we're saved, isn't it? His Spirit comes to live within us. Man, if you ever meditate on that, that is so incredible that the life of God, sometimes when I walk in the mornings and I look at the sky and I just think, the very one that created that is in me. If you just meditate on that, how incredible is that? But you know what? Because we still live on this earth, there is a battle going on all the time within us between His Spirit and our fleshly nature. And who are we going to give our allegiance to? Are we going to give it to the Spirit of God within us, or are we going to give it to our own fleshly nature? And how do we have the power to submit to that Spirit? And I know when I am not living in the Word of God, I am powerless. <laughs> I really am. And I don't seem to feel like I have what I need to live a life of godliness. We've been given everything we need. Just meditate on that for a minute. We've been given everything we need for life and for godliness. And I want to ask you today, do you want the power of God in your life? And I think all of us would say, yes, I do. I know I do. You know, God's brought me a long way, but I have a lot more to do in this life. And I pray he's going to let me live a lot longer. I want his power in my life. Now, I would say to you, if you want it, you're going to find it as you open up his word, you meditate on it, you partake of it, you eat of it, and you meditate on his divine nature, the true knowledge of Christ, and you really partake of those precious promises. Now, sometimes, and I know this is the way I used to feel, I think, but I already know the story about Noah, and I'm trying to figure out how we're going to have enough money to pay the mortgage this month, God. And it, nothing seemed attractive to me. It didn't seem like it really could matter to me, to where I live today. It seemed ancient. And, I, and it took me a long time to admit that. And I didn't even like to say it, because I thought, that sounds horrible. But when I was truthful with myself, I realized that there was this huge disconnect from what I believed about the Word of God to where I was living. And I wanted God to bring those together because I read verses like 2 Peter that said he'd given me everything I need to live a life of godliness, and it's in this word. But I just was praying, Lord, open it up. And I'll tell you, it's the whole, we can read it all day long, but it's the Holy Spirit who reveals it to us. He reveals it to us. And the Bible says, oh, the depth of the riches of the wisdom of God. And see, I can think that about it. I can think it's not relevant. But see, I'm the one that's mistaken. God's true, and his riches and wisdom are deep. Satan will lie to you and tell you the word of God's familiar. It's outdated. It's not relevant to where you're at. And I would tell you that the Bible says about Satan, he's a liar, so don't listen to him. Because the word of God is truth and it's power. And I can't begin to explain it all, but I can tell you that the word of God brings power in, in your life. And back when I first started really getting into God's word, when he started to give me that hunger, 
Because some people will say, well, how is it power? I don't understand. Well, this story might help you to understand that a little bit. When I started to get into that, the Lord taught me that verse, and he had me memorize it. Because you know what? There was a sin pattern in my life that I could not overcome. It always undid me. It always had the victory. And you know what? The Lord put that picture in my mind of, are you going to present yourself on a platter to Satan? Or are you going to present yourself on a platter to Christ? Which are you going to do, Sharon? Which are you going to do? And when I, would, I started getting to that point where I would approach that sin pattern that I had fallen into, I would hear the voice of the Lord whispering this verse in my ear or putting that image in front of me. And little by little, I started to make the wise choice and present myself to the Holy Spirit. And I'll tell you today, that sin pattern is undone. That's the power of God. Sharon is a dynamic speaker. She has a way of bringing a story to life. She's a master storyteller. But when you realize that the story she's telling is the truth about Jesus, then it's even more exciting. And she brings her own life and her own experiences into it. And then as a woman, you can relate to what exactly she's talking about. You're like, yeah, I felt that way before. That's what I love about Sharon. I enjoy seeing her talk every time. Sharon is an awesome speaker. Um, first of all, she's gifted by the Lord to speak, I believe, firmly. And she also um, is a very down-to-earth, real-life speaker. She talks about her own personal weaknesses and strengths. She's a gifted speaker. She just has a, a natural ability to be able to get up in front of any amount of women and uh, get across what God has put into her heart. As I've studied God's Word, I've found that it has much to say about life and the steps we take. His Word contains the truth for every question we have, every moment we celebrate, and every trial we face. Contact me. I'd love to come and share these truths with you and your group.